Hi, I'm Mrs Musgrove and I'm the PSHE lead for Earlham Primary School. I just wanted to talk to you a few, um, today about a few key issues that surround PSHE and also explain and make people a little bit more aware of what PSHE entails and what it's about in Earlham Primary School. So what is PSHE? Um, it stands for Personal, Social, Health and Economic Education and it aims to provide children with the knowledge and the skills to keep themselves happy, healthy and safe as well as to prepare them for life and work. PSHE aims to give children the knowledge, skills and understanding they need to lead confident, healthy and independent lives. Now we teach, key, we, we teach weekly sessions of PSHE throughout our school. In Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 we um, teach at least one session per week. But we also take into account any issues that might crop up within the school community, within the local community, or even within the wider community. If anything happens on the news that our children might need to be made aware of, that we might need to support them with and explain things a little bit more thoroughly so that they don't worry or so that they know how to act around about it or they know how to discuss it when they're in the playground talking to their friends. Again, we talk about things that might have happened within school, any imminent issues or anything that might have happened within um, on, on the skate park or anything like that. And we teach, we, we look at those issues and we teach about them and we try and equip our children and prepare them for how to deal with certain situations and if they ever do or ever are faced with a certain situation. In early years foundation stage, which consists of nursery and reception, the SHE um, is just runs through um, daily lessons, daily teaching. It's a huge part of the children's learning. Um, it's it's very much um, integrated into many elements of um, the ethos of the classroom, and children have it at the forefront of many aspects of the learning. The SHE really is a big thing within EWA at YFS. Navigating our world can be challenging. Parents and teachers play a massive role in preparing children for the future. And because of that, PSHE aims to equip pupils to do quite a few things. And some of these are to take individual responsibility for their physical and mental well-being, to understand the risks of drugs and alcohol and how to stay safe online, to develop resilience, independence and responsibility, to develop the personal and social skills that are required to succeed in commerce and industry, and to identify misleading information, to be critical of misleading news or views that they might encounter. We at school know why PSHE is so important, but it's really important that everybody understands um, the importance of it, but also the benefits of integrating it within the community. That's at home as well. In partnership with parents, we have a vital role in preparing children and young people to negotiate the challenges and opportunities of a very complex world that we're now in. Personal social health and economic education is the school subject that deals with real life issues affecting our children, families and communities. So we might deal with issues on how to stay safe um, when we're with our friends. We might deal with issues on how to be a good friend if, if there are any issues of bullying within school. Um, it might be about healthy food options. Um, anything, anything could be could could turn up that we need to focus on at a particular time. Um, it's concerned with the social health and economic realities of the lives, but it also supports pupils to be healthy mentally and physically, safe online and offline, and equipped to thrive in relationships and careers for the future. PSHE education helps all children and young people, the highest achievers, as well as the vulnerable, the excluded, a child with special needs, um, on an ind individual education education plan, anything like that. Anybody and everybody needs to be able to have the opportunity to achieve their fullest potential. Um, PSHE is a very, very inclusive subject and something that every child has the right to access. In our school, we use an online um, teaching toolkit it's called SCARF. Um, the children really, really enjoy 
learning with SCARF and it uses online characters um, that the children have become very familiar with, Harold being one of them. Um, it helps, helps us to teach many aspects of PSH here and that's with both the statutory and the non-statutory aspects of it. Um, SCARF builds on the values of safety, caring, achievement, resilience and friendship and they're the main themes. Now every theme that is taught within SCARF runs um, is government, government backed and runs through all of the core elements of PSHE. So we're really fortunate that we can use this and we don't only rely on SCARF, but we use it as an additional um, toolkit. Um, obviously, we have lots of teachers who know many, many things about PSHE. Um, so this is more of an additional um, toolkit to use. There's an example of a, a lesson plan here. I mean, all of the, the lesson plans that we have are always available to parents to have a look at. So if you ever do want to know what the children are learning within school, you can always ask the teacher for a copy of the lesson plan. And on there, it gives you key vocabulary that the ch child might be discussing within the classroom and um, the key resources that we're using, the subjects and issues that might be um, discussed. And that just gives you a way of talking to the child using the same vocabulary and the same approach that will be taken in school. So consistency is key with PSHE and that's a good idea if you wanted a copy and always ask your class teacher or ask myself. So what do our children gain from the teaching of PSHE? We, we talk about relationships, including developing and maintaining positive relationships and dealing with negative relationships. Um, we talk about things like bullying, consent, how to communicate with others, inappropriate behaviour in a relationship and how to deal with inappropriate behaviour. And then the further on we get throughout the school, um, we come to topics such as the, um, grooming. Um, we also provide opportunities to learn about developing conf confidence, resilience. It's obviously been a huge thing to focus on lately. Um, preparing children and young people for face to face uh, that face life's challenges and make the most of life's opportunities. We look at issues such as health. Um, we talk about healthy lifestyles how to endorse healthy eating, how to promote being healthy, um, exercise being really important, but also mental and emotional health and the factors that affect that and, and give the children channels of where they can go, who they can contact if they ever need help and support. We look at things like drug alcohol and tobacco education and we are also starting to work on first aid and emergency life-saving skills. We also provide opportunities to talk about risk, managing risk um, and personal safety, how to stay, stay safe, how to stay safe online, um, taking risk, appreciating the value of taking risks in different situations and the benefits of sometimes taking a risk. We think about economic well-being, including the role of money, influences on our use of money, gambling and careers education, and then employability skills. Um, the older the child is, they might learn about enterprise, um, business, financing, and all of the skills that come with that. The knowledge, skills and attributes developed through PSHE, PSHE education combined to equip people for numerous challenges. Um, first aid, for example, is a good um, good good part of this um, because it can be put into practice and it, and it can be very hands-on and obviously CPR, um, how to deal with a, a person choking, how to bandage an inju injury, how to um, clean a cut are all real life and important parts of our development. Does PSHE gets in the way of other learning? Absolutely not. Um, high quality PSHE has a really positive impact on the academic attainment. PSHE thrive, strives to keep the child happy, feel safe, feel loved and understand how to deal with various situations, even when things become difficult 
or they have obstacles thrown at them that might, they might not be expecting. And PSHE is really important in helping the child deal with certain issues like that. It effectively addresses issues which can make it difficult for young people to engage in learning, such as those concerning mental health and emotional well-being, bullying, poor physical health, relationship issues and substance misuse. Therefore, PSHE education complements rather than compromises core academic learning in schools. There's always time to teach PSHE. Do all schools teach PSHE? Um, it's a compulsory and independent school at schools and the majority is now compulsory in all schools. This is a very, very recent thing. Um, in primary schools, it's compulsory to teach um, relationships and health education and in secondary schools it's compulsory to teach relationships and sex and health education. Um, we do choose to teach elements of sex education but we will always ask for consent from parents beforehand and we will always give plenty of ad advance notice. Um, that's further through the school that you go so when you're looking at key stage two um, and we start to talk about body body awareness and different parts of our bodies that's when we start to move into that area but as we say we will always let you know in advance we will always equip you with all of the appropriate vocabulary that we'll be using the resources that we're using and we will ask your permission you do have the right to ask for your child to be taken out of a sex education class and um, that has to be in writing to mrs darwin um, and your child doesn't have to take part in that class. Um, if they don't, then they'll have to spend time within school. It's not time to stay at home, but they'll have to time, spend time in school um, doing something in a different class or engaging in another activity. The vast majority of schools now do cover PSHE to some extent. Um, the, the reason that this has been brought about is because there were concerns about the consistency and the amount of time allocated to it. Um, and lots of parents actually decided that they wanted the subject to have a higher status on the curriculum. So that's why the Department of Education decided to make key aspects of the subject compulsory. From, and that happened in September 2020. So the compulsory content includes relationships education at key stages one and two, relationships and sex education in key stages three and four, and then obviously, like I said, health education from key stage one to four. We cover that really well and we use SCARF, which covers all of that, as well as our own expect expertise and experience. <sighs> How can I support my child's PSHE education? This personal, social, health and economic development of our children is achieved through partnership between school and the family. This is so important for this subject. Ways to support your child. Um, you could go to any upcoming information events and I'll always let you know well in advance about this. Um, I'll put lots of information about our approach and I've given out lots of information about our approach to PSHE related issues um, such as online safety, relationships and sex education and drugs. Um, please do talk with your children about the issues that have ex been explored in PSHE. At the end of the, the school week, ask your child what they've learned in PSHE that week and maybe talk about it a little bit further. Like I say, we timetable at least one session of PSH per week, PSHE per week. Sometimes there are more sessions depending on the subject in hand. Um, these sessions touch on any issues that arise within the local community. And that's the most important thing. Um, we, we do that first and foremost before anything else that's planned. One way that you could help us is if you do any know if you do know of any issues within the community that we might not already know about drug related bullying vandalism then please do let the class teacher or myself know um, and we will make sure that we integrate this into our sessions and discuss these issues with the children so that we can help them in in case they unfortunately ever do have to encounter these issues or these experiences for themselves. If you do have any concerns about PSHE or, or, or anything related to what I've said today, um, please do contact your class teacher or can contact me, Mrs Musgrove. 
hopefully I've answered a few of your questions. Um, but like I say, my email's there, lisa.musgrove at salford.gov.uk. I hope this was helpful um, and that you've enjoyed listening to it. And I will be in touch again soon with further information. Thank you.